Hey, how's it going? So today I, um, well, it wasn't open, but I looked at my Nazgul, Nazgul, Naz, Nagul, Nazgul, and I saw this, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a capacitor just, uh, flopping in the breeze there. I'm guessing it came, it heated up and, or I don't, I don't know, vibrations, but, um, yeah, I gotta replace the capacitor on there or my video is gonna be total shit. I wonder how long that was like that there. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna try to get it out of here. I don't know if you can actually pull it out. Yeah, look, it's too big to come out of there. It kind of sucks. Um... So, I guess that means I gotta remove a bunch of stuff to get this out. Um, oh wow, I have a thing today. Nut driver. Alright, I'm gonna pop these nuts off. It's got four nuts on top of the stack. Wow, they got little... Oh no, that's just a silicone bushings so yeah I'll take off these four nuts and I just dropped one down in this thing here whatever we'll get it later hopefully can take this top stack off hopefully and not have to move a lot of shit I guess I gotta take this out, huh? So I just removed the ESC cable. And now I can see this bottom ESC 4 in 1. I guess I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to remove the, um, the VTX cable. And hopefully I can remember that that's how everything went. I flight success E4 EF4 buzzer cam it's cool all right so this I don't know I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this out with these wires on here um, so I'm just gonna have to pull it up as far as I can and finagle this thing out of here Huh. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, it's nice that the capacitor is on the bottom, but... I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna have to take this VTX off. So it's just got four nuts. handle on it if I can find it. Oh here's one. And honestly I wanted to switch out this VTX anyway. I don't know if I'm gonna do that right now but maybe I should. So this is the iForce VTX coming out of there. And as you can see that success force So, I can just pull it up enough, I think, to get this wishful thinking. I might just have to... Sorry, it's going to be off camera. There we go. So now everything's hanging out. I'm trying not to scratch your lens there. But um, there is the capacitor in question. It almost looks like it's... Shit. Sorry, you can't see it very well. Let me get um, some tweezers here. 
almost looks like it's uh bubbled a little bit there on the top and it's hard to tell I'm not gonna reuse it it's kind of shitty to use a um 470 35 volt I mean I guess that's got a good I thought a lot of people were saying use 50 volt on 6s but um yeah that's a 35 470 capacitor it's nice uh shit I forget what's different about these aluminum, well I guess they're all aluminum, but these, whatever these are, maybe they're just like surface mount or something, but yeah, they normally have it, you probably won't be able to see it, they normally have that thing, so you can see the pads in there, the two solder pads, that's where the capacitor is normally and it's kind of nice because it's out of the way because on all my other quads there's just a capacitor sitting in the back seat basically but um all right now that it's out we got to put something on there so i'm gonna dig in my capacitor box here i'm just gonna inspect this i'm always paranoid about these little blobs of shit on my uh esc I don't know. I feel like. I wonder how long conformal coating takes to um, harden. I feel like I should. I just watched a video on it. Well, I guess if I did it, I would have to do both sides. But, um. Yeah, fuck that. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna solder this thing on. It'd be nice if I could put it right back where it was. But, due to size limit or yeah i just can't get in there can you see that i'm gonna have that <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me solder it to the top i think which it doesn't really matter i mean there's nothing in the way there i got some big ass capacitors i should probably get smaller ones <laughs> but hey so I got a 5100, I mean 51,000 UF, that'll probably be better anyway, right? It's one of these Sanyo joints that hopefully they're low ESR. And honestly, I don't even know, I guess it is, because everybody tells me it is, and I read that it is, that ESR is a real thing, and modern capacitors don't all just have the ESR that's low, right? I guess. But anyway, what what I like to do on these is I like to take um, heat shrink, and I'll just show you. I take a piece of heat shrink, and usually match the color, so I when I solder it, I don't do the wrong one. But um, what you do is you take your your heat shrinks, red and black, and if you look on the capacitor here, normally they're marked with a, either a negative, they'll have a negative um, sign, for, or they might even say ground on them. This one just has a highlighted area, I don't know if you can see that, but that goldish yellowish area, is that's, that's negative, it corresponds to the um, negative pole of the capacitor. Um, alright, so what you do is you kind of judge where you're going to put that. You want it to be as close to the thing as possible, but you also don't want it to be in the way of your top stack stuff. So, yeah, that's going to be a bitch because the top, I think there's room in there. I'm going to just try it and see what happens. But what I do is take my snips and I just cut these two to meet to match each other so they're the same length and then um it actually doesn't look like the same length so there's the same length and then I take my heat shrink 
negative one negative and I just kind of judge about an eighth inch away from the end there hopefully so I put my thing on and there see it's like an eighth inch away from the end there so you have something to solder to and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this one and sit that on there see what it looks like see it's an, about the same as the other one and I just take my lighter and heat that shit up because it's not doesn't have to be pretty but that just keeps anything from touching it um, if you have it a little bit away I like to have it a little bit away so I can still access it um, I'm gonna get a little bit of flux on here because you gotta um, heat this bitch up pretty hot to get it to go so I like to use my 60 watt on ESC like the power terminals just cause it's such a hot this is a I think it's a 60 watt Heiko 305 60 watt yeah Heiko 305 it's like the cheapest one you can get um and then I tin my tip a little bit put a little solder on my tip and then I go to town and just keep everything away that will be heated up and try to get a good bead going.